This is what's believed to be the remains of Pharaoh's army, found at the bottom of the Red Sea. During his expedition in the Gulf of Aqaba, Ron Wyatt uncovered what he claimed were coral-encrusted chariot wheels, human and animal bones, and other debris scattered across the seabed, seeming to align with the biblical account of Exodus. These chariot wheels, with their distinct four-spoke design, match those used during Egypt's second dynasty, which correlates with the time of Moses and the Israelites' escape from Egypt. The location, Nueva Beach, serves as a potential crossing point, with a submerged land bridge beneath the water that could have allowed the Israelites to cross safely. What's also intriguing about this discovery is its proximity to key biblical landmarks, such as Mount Sinai, where God gave Moses the Ten Commandments and burned the top of the mountain with his presence, the Pillar of Solomon, which marks the Red Sea crossing, and the Rock of Horeb, where water flowed from a rock to sustain the Israelites and still has visible erosion marks to this day. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. And the Egyptians pursued, and went in after them to the midst of the sea, even all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And it came to pass that in the morning watch the Lord looked unto the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of the cloud, and troubled the host of the Egyptians, and took off their chariot wheels, that they drave them heavily, so that the Egyptians said, Let us flee from the face of Israel, for the Lord fighteth for them against the Egyptians. These are the footprints that were left behind after the Red Sea crossing. What's so interesting about this discovery is that the footprints appear to be solidified in the seabed, along with rock-hard sand that has actually melted and fused together, with some archaeologists even comparing it to glass as it's become so brittle. This aligns with the biblical narrative in Exodus 14, where it describes God as a pillar of fire. The intense heat from the fire could potentially explain how the footprints became fossilized, preserving this moment in history as evidence of the miraculous crossing. Some researchers also point to the fact that this area, Nueva Beach, has long been identified as the crossing site due to the discovery of an underwater land bridge beneath the Red Sea, suggesting a possible route for a mass crossing. Not only that, there are claims of chariot wheels and human remains found on the seafloor, adding to the supporting evidence. With all these discoveries, as well as the solidified footprints in the area, has led many to believe this is where the Red Sea crossing actually took place.